Good morning friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to configure a dynamic routing protocol and a DHCP server. In this video, we what we see, we configure the dynamic routing protocol to communication between the PCs and I also configure the DHCP server to assign the IP address dynamically. Let's start the configuration. First I will show you there is no IP address on my PCs you can see as well this PC also has an IP address it's a blank configuration you can see on both the router it is blank configuration the basic connectivity is this the, these routers are directly communicate, communicating with each other and in between switch and router there is a in between switch and PC in between uh, router and PC there is a switch we don't have any configuration on switch it's simply we are using a switch now let's start the configuration first we configure the interface of the router yes it is blank as you can see by enabling we are in privilege mode now for interface configuration we move to the configuration mode you can also check the interface by do show ip interface it is nothing now let's configure interface f0 by 0 now we are in the interface now assign the ip 172.16.10.1 and give the subnet mask also then no shutdown no shutdown for interface up as you can see that link change change status up I also confirm you by typing this do show interface build. If you compare both the interface, yes, it is administratively down. Now it is up. Protocol is down because there is no protocol. And we configure the interface this. Now we are going to configure our interface F0 by 1. So you can exit or you can directly type the interface. In my case, I exit interface F. 0 by 1 now I am inside the interface now I am going to assign the IP address that is 192.168.1.1 and provide the subnet mask it is H24 no shutdown now you can see that my interface goes up Now that interface is interface configuration is done. Now we, we move to our second part that is DSCP server. It is very easy to configure a DSCP server IP DSCP pool, pool name test one. Now provide the network 192. 168.1.0 is network sorry provide the subnet mask also now default route 192.168.1.1 default route is this because my PC's default gateway is this so I have to give the default gateway 192.168.1.1 and enter Now I also give the DNS DNS server as you know 8.8.8 .8 Friends our DCP server is configured on router 0 Now we are going to configure our this next router By enabling we are in now privilege mode 
now let's move to configuration mode to configure the interface interface f0 by 0 ip address 192.168.2. sorry this 192.168.10.2 255.255.255.255.255.0 no shut let's see the interface now up now move to the next interface configure next interface this one f0 by 1 f0 by 1 i can directly jump into that this interface IP address 192.168.2.1 subnet mask no shut now I show you the interface do show do show IP interface IP interface brief now you can see the both the interface configured Now we configure the DSCP server for DSCP server configuration IP DSCP pool pool name test test to network 192.168.2.0 2.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no uh, default 190 and dns is 8.8.8 .8 yes this is also configured yes now we have configured two things interface ip address on both the router and dscp server but still there is no communication one nine, once uh, these interfaces are directly connected but this the reachability between 192.168.1.0 network and 2.0 network is not possible so for this we have to configure the dynamic routing protocol in our case we are going to configure the uh, eigrp let's configure router EIGRP 10 that is AS number configure the network 172.16.10.0 network 192.168.1.0 and exit yes we configure the EIGRP in one now we configure on the second router EIGRP 10 network network 192.168.2.0 network 172.16.10.0 10 dot 0 wait for some time it is not coming up because we have done a mistake yes we have given the wrong subnet so please go and correct this interface f 0 by 0 ip address uh, you can also do this default interface f 0 by 0 by this command you have reset your interface f 0 by 0 now again configure it interface f 0 by 0 ip address 
set yes friends now you can see that the neighborship goes up so please while configuring please uh, let's check that you have given the correct interface ip address or not now uh, see uh, show ip route yes you can see that on router one we have uh, we have routes of this this network also and if I check this so IP route yes we have also the I routes of this network let's assign the IP address yeah that DSCP is configured and check again requesting for the IP address yes I have received an IP address and same I will do this on yes we have received an another IP address now I try to add another PC I another laptop and see let's check that we receive or not the address and then and add the two laptops and the current desktop and static and save try again Yes, my friend, we have re received the DSCP server. Let's try on this. Yes, we also received an IP address via DSCP server. So, friends, you have, as uh, you can see that we have configured uh, following things: interface IP, DSCP server, and dynamic routing protocol for communication. Thank you for my watching my video. Please subscribe and like and share also. Thank you.